it's a year ago today that everything went haywire. That's right. You know, one year ago today they canceled the NBA, they canceled basketball, college basketball tournaments around the country. You know, everything. Tom Hanks announced he had coronavirus. Rita Wilson. So uh, since that time, sixty-seven percent of people have gained weight. The average amount of gait, gained weight over the one year is 29 pounds. Mm, it's higher for men, I think. 37 for Oof. men. 37 pounds really? weight gain for I men. I never would have thought it would be that high. I gained, I told you, I gained during that pandemic 31 pounds. Mm. I mean, by the time I stepped on the... And, you, and you're below average. <laughs> I'm below average in so many ways. <laughs> About average, you're 37 for men, 29 all combined. I gained 31 pounds. See, I always heard quarantine 15, so I figured that had to be, that was what it was. You know, they but. say, that, of course, the freshman 15, too, but I put on more than 15 pounds my freshman year of college. I think when I went to college, they called it the 10. The freshman 10. <laughs> became fresh. Different generation. I mean, to honest, it's probably freshman 30 now, you know. I mean, when I went to college, they say the freshman 15, but I put on a lot of weight. Do you think it took the entire year for people to put that weight on? If that's the average, did it take the entire year or did it take a portion of the year? Because really, in the summer, I mean, I know the gyms were closed, but were. do people rely on the gym that much that they can't go outside and run in the street or do stuff I think in the yard? Was, I or? think more of it was diet, that we were inside and we're like, I don't care right now. You know, I'm just I gonna... think it got packed on when it got cooler out. I do think you? it was we got into September. Really? In the, into the burrs. I think it's your typical burr, and yeah. it just doubled up. But I want mac and cheese tonight. Damn that right. Kind of thing. Yeah. But I think people are eating more in the summer as well, though. And I don't know. Because it, it was so different. We And we didn't know how long it was going to be. And uh, I think because that, that's when the cookies and mm-hmm. comfort food sales really went up, in the, even in the spring. I think a lot of people thought to themselves, I, one thing I'm going to give myself right now because I've been deprived of everything else is good food. I'm just going to eat what I want. You know? And the kids are home all the time yeah. at that point. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, they eat Oreo. I eat Oreo. Remember those stories early, spring and summer. They're home. I'm gonna, we're bringing in junk food. You know, and that people went to the store and Oreos and all that. And you're probably right about the birds as well. When we got to, you know, let's see. I know when you got into Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, mm-hmm. eating season. 67% gained weight. What was it? Chris Dim said you either come out of it as. Oh, yeah, a, that's right. A, a, a hunk, uh huh, a chunk, uh-huh. a monk, or a drunk. Well, all four of us in here. <laughs> <laughs> we got a hunk, a monk, a drunk, and a junk. Let's play match game. <laughs> You all, Absolutely. if you're watching on camera, you know who we are. Honk, Absolutely. Monk, drunk, <laughs> chunk. <laughs> mm-hmm. There you are. There's your. Uh, hey, hey, we're the monk. That's, junk, junk, junk. <laughs> that's exactly how it turned out. Gained 31 during the pandemic. For me, it was I, after about, I tried to work out for about five months six months of it and then after that i said forget it it really less than that after the fourth of july yeah, i don't think it was five it was no offense no one well, after the because we started march march april may and into june and by the fourth of july we went on vacation i ate whatever i wanted we visited my sister-in-law in charleston i ate a you ton not eat in charleston I ate a ton every night we were eating something good and uh when it was done i said i'm, I'm not Going to go back to what I was And if doing. you wanted to translate the gyms being closed to being able to work outside yeah. it was a it was a cold winter. It was. Yeah. It so was. if you're not used to working out or running in the cold, mm-hmm. then um, mm-hmm. you lose. Stayed in. And I think when you're on your own, you do. I mean, I go to a. I have to go to a class to get the workout. Got to be pushed. In. I have to be pushed. When I was on my own, I wasn't able to come if, to the if, dark if, side, skinnies. I was. If you had a Peloton at your house, you wouldn't have climbed on it. I got the Peloton. I had a treadmill, and I got the Peloton app mm-hmm. so that I could do the workouts. I only did them two or three times. I can't make myself do it. I just could. Where's that do treadmill? It. Does it still work? It does still work. Do you want it? No. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> the guinea pigs are on it now. <laughs> It's a good idea, actually. <laughs> I would never buy a treadmill. Keep them sexing one another. <laughs> they uh, you know, just sold the house. Yeah, and should it, have left it there. It was. It was left there. And I left uh, that and a table and a couple other things. Is that what they made you come back and get? No. Well, they said, we'll keep the table. We'll keep this. You've got to get the treadmill. So that's the one thing that I've got oh, to get. The new buyers. The new Congratulations. buyers. Congratulations. The buyers, thank you. They said it must. The treadmill has to go. <laughs> that's the one thing they wanted gone. And uh, so I've got a. Push it into the lake. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little plan on how to uh, get rid of that. Are you going to move it to the house? I thought about it, but uh, no. I decided not to. How I don't... many treadmills have you moved in your life? I've helped you move, what, two? Yeah. I, th- this... What a pain in Let me tell you something. Oh, my God. God. The treadmill the is the worst. I bought two at, <laughs> at Costco or uh, you know some big box store. 
And Chris Jim helped me move up the stairs that time. That was worse than the air hockey table. It's worse. It's Way the, worse. It's the heaviest thing you will move. And that one, it couldn't hold me. <laughs> I broke it. Yeah. <laughs> didn't didn't couldn't handle you. That could, thing couldn't handle me. Such a man. <laughs> so then I had to call. He's the bronc that couldn't be busted. I, I, the only thing heavier than those are those sleeper sofas. Unreal. Yeah. The Ugh. treadmill was unreal, and Chris Tim helped me carry it up the stairs. God bless him. That's what broke him. That's that's when he became a shell of who he used to be. He crumbled. And then I said, I need something bigger and better and more sturdy, so I called Wayne Quackenbush. Oh, the quack. I remember that. Oh, the quack. God, I, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. I got a horn Wayne Quackenbush. He located a little uh, little baby out of Memphis, a little 2005 model. That's right. Brought her over. <laughs> those are illegal in some states, those treadmills. <laughs> now, they train elephants on this, <laughs> but I'm going to get it to you. For the circus. Cross state lines. When they disbanded the circus, we got a few of these treadmills left over. Mm-hmm. I, called old Qu- I called Quackenbush. Mm-hmm. I said, can you get it to me? He got it to me. He and I had to move it into the house. <clears throat> heaviest thing I've ever lifted. Yep. That, that is the heaviest thing ever, the uh, treadmill. So we put it in to the basement. There's a room in the basement where we put it, and it it sits there to this day. And I used it for about a year and a half, and then I went. That was when it. you got up bef- to run. Yes. before the program, I remember. Those and I was days. getting burned out on it. I stopped, mm-hmm. and then I went to started going to the gym. And I thought I'm never going to use this treadmill again, which really I shouldn't have spent all that money on. It's pretty expensive. Well. So now it sits rusting out. In the same spot, mm. and the new owners of the house said, I want this gone. Because this- well, they know if you don't get it gone, it's just going to sit there when they move of in. Of course. And did it you is- tell them it works? It does work. Yeah, I told them it worked. And I did consider uh, bringing it to the new house, but uh, I had to have the whole thing rewired. I mean, the plug on it is one of those. It doesn't just plug into a regular outlet. you got to get something new. Yeah, you used to pl- plug into the side of a train for an elephant to use. That's right. I said forget it. <laughs> Do you still have Quackenbush's number? On speed dial. <laughs> Oh, that number's changed. So you can call and say, <laughs> "Listen, we got to get this thing out of here." I could say right now, but he won't. He won't. He won't return my call. Now you call that number, do do do. Wayne Quackenbush. The number you call. He will not take my calls. No, I got a guy coming over today to take it out of there. That's well spent money. I I'd, so. I'd call two hunks that move junk or whoever it is yeah. and have them move it. That's right. The hunks that move junk. That's exactly right. So anyway, they're doing that and taking care of it today. That starts. But the numbers of, listen to that. Well, how much weight did you gain during uh, quarantine, Biggie? I'm I on was, record, 31 was, pounds. Yeah, I was probably up and down. Mm-hmm. So I'd say at least 20. Yes. Yeah. Well, but then I'd lose some, then I'd put some back on. I'd lose some, I put gain some back easily. on. I gain weight very easily. So uh, 31. I mean, but when I stepped on the scale, I looked at it and it's like, oh, my. That is really a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. That's why we're in the middle of the 1,000-pound, 1000 dollars weight loss challenge. Oh, absolutely. It's true. Yeah. We don't I, update quite as much, do well, we? Well, I had a thought about it the other day. Let's see if you like this idea. Let's quit. <laughs> let's quit. <laughs> okay, I'm in. And uh, let's not pay them. No, wait, I'm not what? Them. Wait, wait, hey. <laughs> but yeah. let's quit. We'll talk about it later. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Damn right we will. Let's yeah. get a plan You together. can open my envelope. You should have open it and read what it says, actually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We'll wait and see. <laughs> see if these guys will give us a break. Yeah, on no, this that's thing. fine. Yeah, I'm, right, I'm good we'll with that. We'll just see how it goes and see how that. I was goes. always. I actually did put a note in my envelope. I was hoping somebody would uh, cheat and look at it. <laughs> what does it say? I knew you'd look, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, as of now, it's July. We haven't even made it to spring. That's right. No, we're, fine, yeah. we're almost at the quarter pole, and uh, I hate it. I hate trying it. I mean, I'm doing the best I can. It's difficult. I guess we'll continue on and soldier on. Otherwise, we, we don't do. have to. Well, we owe oh, no. well, we owe a thousand dollars if we don't. You know, we're not going to welch on our bed, are we? No, that we were. That's are what we, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we do that. That's sad, sad day. No, I say we'll keep going. All right, let's, let's, keep, let's power keep it up. through. Let's power through and keep it up.